Hey y'all, Mike here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to find the nodal point of your lens. As light enters your lens and crosses a path at that point before it hits the sensor, that point where it all converges is called the nodal point. And that's really important for VFX, for example. Uh, you know, if you're gonna be exporting your Unreal programs or to FBX, then that point is the point that's used. So the way we're gonna find that is I'm gonna turn my camera and let me go ahead and do that. So I've got these two stands set up, uh, several feet apart, and I've got my camera looking straight at them. They're right in the line. When I rotate about the nodal point, there will be no drift uh, of, of the two stands. They'll stay right in line. If I'm closer or further away, if I'm off on either side, we'll see some drift of the back stand relative to the, the front one. So the way we're gonna do this is uh, we're going to adjust our camera tool um, until we find that point and where there is no drift. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like. If you're off on either side, I'll show you that drift, and then we'll look and see what it looks like when you've found that nodal point. So let's jump in here. I'm going to my camera tool, and I've already got it open. So we're looking at our, right now, we're at our sensor offset. So we're on right in the middle of that sensor. So, if I rotate it, I'm gonna put it in crane mode and rotate mode here. And if I rotate it, we'll see in our camera feed, we get quite a bit of drift to that side. We see the, the back stand is drifting to the right. It's, it's drifting with the rotation of our camera. Now, if I adjust that and I go to the far side of the lens, I'm just gonna put 300 in there as a big number. Um, and I'll show you what that looks like if we're too far. All right, so now if I rotate, we see that the back sand drifts away from our rotation. The best thing to do here is of course, ideally, uh, the documentation of the lens would show where the nodal point is. My experience says that uh, that's not usually the case. So we're just gonna have to find it manually. And I'm gonna guess that it's about 100 millimeters. It's, you know, about a third of the way up that lens. So I'm gonna punch in 100 millimeters. And we're just gonna test it out. All right, so now if we're on the nodal point, we won't see that drift, but we do see some drift with the rotation. So we're too close to the sensor and we need to come a little further out. So what I'll do, I'll go in here. Now I know that this one is at 140. I'm gonna punch that in and go back. And we'll do the rotation. And we'll see that there is no drift at this point. Those two stands are staying exactly in line. We've now found our nodal point. So what I wanna do now is I'll go back into my camera tool. I'm gonna reset this sensor offset to two. And I'm going to my lens, cause that is where this is a property of the lens. Um, I'll edit that and I've got a nodal offset. You can click on this and it will show uh, that, it'll just show how to measure that. And it's from the sensor plane. So I've got it set to two for my sensor, my sensor offset. Uh, so 140 minus two, our nodal offset is going to be 138 millimeters. So now when you export for Unreal or for FBX, um, you'll get the correct motion that you're looking for in that file.